What about the rumor that you've lobbied to take over Jeff Sessions' job as an attorney general? You said you just speak to the president all the time. I do. Have you spoken I've to him, him for, about that? I've known the president for 30 years, and I've spoken to him quite a lot over the last 30 years. But how and about to be that? honest, look, we talk about a lot of things, and I actually But how about, get, about the attorney I'm general? Finished, I'm trying to answer your question. Okay. What I'm trying to do when I go to the Oval Office or I speak to the president, I don't say anything different from what I say on my show, Justice, on Saturday nights. And that is that it is time that there are consequences for some of the things that are going on in Washington. Look, I've been a prosecutor, a judge, and a DA for 30 years. Mm -hmm. I've run for office five times. Mm -hmm. I believe in consequences. And when people violate the law, there needs to be consequences. Mm -hmm. And we're not seeing that in Washington. We're not seeing people made accountable for what they've done. So to answer your question directly, I have spoken to him, not about getting the job, okay. no, but about having someone in that job. I don't care who it is, as long as it's an attorney general who's not in the closet, hiding somewhere, who 24 hours after he took the job said, I'm not going to do anything with respect to the election, and that's all we've been talking about for a year and a half. Would you take the job? I haven't been offered the job. Okay. Well, let's talk a little about Russia. Ah. Um, he met with Putin in Helsinki. Uh, a lot of folks, Democrats and Republicans, agree it was probably not the best idea uh, because it kind of undermines our country. What do you think? Not the best idea, Whoopi? Come on. Every president in the last 75 years has met with the head of the Kremlin. And I think the most important thing to take back from this meeting mm -hmm. is the fact that Russia and the United States have more nuclear power than the rest of the world. It's important, and I think it was Abraham Lincoln who said, the way, uh, you know, one of the ways to win is to make an enemy a friend. I'm not saying they should be friends, but what I'm saying is this. Uh-huh. We come out of that meeting. Uh -huh. We are arming the people in the Ukraine, seventy billion dollars worth of arms, while Barack Obama stood by and let Russia go in. Let me finish. I didn't Crimea say that. was I didn't do Crimea was cars. annexed, uh -huh. and as a result of the annexing of Crimea, we have thrown out uh, Russian uh, uh, officials and nationalists. We've closed consulates in the place we are now. President but Obama opened up an investigation into Russian meddling, and this president fired James Comey, the person that was conducting the investigation. So what about that? What about that? Okay, I'm yeah. glad you asked that question. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Now, one of the problems with meddling and this whole Russian investigation is there are two issues. Number one, was there meddling? Everybody agrees there was meddling. Donald Trump agrees there was meddling. Although Barack Obama said about a month before the election, there's no way anyone could meddle in the election. There right. can't and be so, a rigged election. Do remember that, that your friend also was made aware of the meddling. Well, he was that's, aware. That's not what I'm saying. I know the that's second... not what you're saying, but I'm, I'm okay. adding to what you're putting out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. So, so the second... The second part of the Russian investigation is what I write my book about. Yes. And that is when individuals in the Department of Justice, in the FBI, mm -hmm. get together and tee up a fake investigation with a fake dossier paid for by a woman running for president that the DOJ, the FBI, take to paid a Paid for by Republicans first. Pay, pay, uh, no, no. Yes. It yes. was paid for yes. by the yes. DNC and Hillary Clinton. Paid for, it was by, paid the paid Republicans by the Republicans first. Paid for by the Republicans first. Okay. Come on. I wonder what Republican that was. Do you know? Paid for by Republican. It's been referred, no. actually. It was okay. a donor I'll, to I'll one finish. of his primary I'll opponents. Finish this. So then they take it to a court, and the court then issues a warrant to spy on Americans. Now, if you're not offended by that, whether you're Republican or Democrat, Lady Justice is supposed to be blind, and the evidence is made clear from the email text messages from the top FBI counterintelligence guy. We're going to stop him. It's not going to happen. We'll get an insurance policy. The insurance policy is Russia collusion. Nineteen months later, we don't have anything. Do you think he is an ideologue that is faithful to conservative policies? You know, I'm not here to talk about what Donald Trump is and isn't. But you I'm talk about him about it. It. No, you got no, to answer the question. Talk about you the okay. you want to talk about Donald Trump, you tell me what metric in this country is worse off. Unemployment is lower than it's been in 50 years. Minorities, Hispanics, African Americans have jobs. 
Obama. Hate, Obama. Obama. Hate, Obama. Hate, Obama. Hate Obama. crimes are what And stuff. wait a minute. The GDP under Obama was barely one. We're going up to four. So you want to talk no, about hate yeah, crimes? I'll tell you I about fought metric. for a but law I, for hate crimes. I also you, think it's important, as we said, 89% of the Republican Party still supports true. him. He still has huge popularity in the country. And if Democrats don't get their you-know-what together, he's certainly going well, to get reelected. Here's my question for you. Here's my question for you because you talk about you talk about I am not judge. Nobody no, is. I, no, oh, yeah. Did you just point at me? Yes. Listen, I don't have Trump Gosh. derangement. Let me tell you what I have. Okay. I have a lot of I'm tired of people starting a conversation with Mexicans or liars and rapists. I'm tired of people starting a conversation about this country. Listen. I'm 62 years old. There've been a lot of people in office that I didn't agree with, but I have never ever seen anything like this. I've never seen anybody whip up such hate. I've never seen anybody be so dismissive. And I, and clearly you don't watch the show, so you don't know that I don't suffer from that. What I suffer from is the inability to figure out how to fix this. That's my issue. But one of the things that you talk about a lot, and I'm curious about it, is the deep state. How long has the deep state been there, and who's running it? Well, the, the, I want to answer your question because you gave you had an ask you a question. You had I, I, your opening statement, which was how horrible it is that Donald Trump no, is talking no, no, about that's all you, of these I'm people. Sorry, you know what I think is horrible? You said, Whoopi, you know you said horrible? that it, when it was okay. When people be here end it's, up murdering the children of American citizens. You know what's horrible? What's when, horrible when the president of the United States whips up cities. people to beat no. the hell out of people. No. Say goodbye. Let me go. You saw me do something I very rarely do. I very rarely lose my cool, and I'm, I'm not proud of it. I don't like it. But I also don't like being accused of being hysterical, because that's one of the things I try not to be on this show. So, have a great day. This is a homage beat. This is a homage beat.